hello hello and welcome to another video so i got a video uploading for you right now and after you watch that one i will say after or before it don't matter girl you need to watch both of these videos because i had no plans on making this video but as i was sitting down uh, making the thumbnail for that video the holy spirit um gave me something to tell you oh baby and it's about to be good for both of us okay it's about to be good for both of us it's gonna be good for both of us so um oh holy spirit oh oh lord don't make me turn my don't make me turn my uh my piano on in here oh jesus um so yesterday now i've told this story before i told this story from a very different perspective from the one that i am sitting in here today you guys have probably heard it when i told the story of the unseen battle and baby oh baby oh baby this is gonna be good so yesterday um see and i don't have my microphone you heard the ac just click on i don't have my microphone because the phone is also about to die so like that word this morning the enemy don't want you to get this word either because this is gonna set you free so yesterday i um stopped by the so let me go back i told you guys in that video the unseen battle if you want to go and watch it i believe i still have it up for view right um but I want to tell you this because I have spoken about soul ties before. I thought I gave you guys a really good explanation. Um, I thought I gave you guys a really good explanation. A lot of people, you know that you're in soul tie relationships. You know that you're in a situation where you tied up. You might not even be currently in a relationship, but you know your soul is tied up. And I made a video for you guys today. Like I said, I would highly suggest that you watch it and watch this as well. Because if you're really serious about it, getting free from those ties, I want to tell you how simple it is, baby. And the Holy Spirit just gave this to me. And it's just so good. This is free. This I'm going to give this to you for free. Okay? So, I remember on that day. And why I remember on that day? Because yesterday I was driving down the street that this was on now now remember the side of town that i used to live on and this side of town i would never be over here to even go to this place because i just live too far away from it i would never be over here um but recently i moved back into the vicinity of where all of these things took place and god has been blowing my mind he's very intentional because sometimes you actually have to go back and get some things and sometimes and when i say go back i really mean go back Right, I'm not always talking about going back to the place because sometimes that's impossible. But sometimes you have to go back and get some things. And I don't have anyone around me to... Sometimes you gotta go back and get some things, okay? So I was driving down the road and I'm like, okay, I am not hungry. I actually have, you know, I have some food right here. I have some, I had some crackers and some tuna. I said, I have some food right here. I really don't need to stop and get this. But as I was driving down the road, the Holy Spirit said, no, go over there. And I want you to stop at that boba shop. Now I mentioned this boba shop to you guys in that other video. It's the store. So I had gotten out of a relationship. The relationship had been going on at this point since I was about, I don't know. I was like 18. I was like 18. Yeah. 18 or 19 it eludes me girl it eludes me um it had been going on since i was 18 and at this point in time i was in my 20s i was in my early 20s 23 or so like that. so it had been going on for a long time i knew that it wasn't going anywhere and above me just knowing god was telling me this is not it but i found myself very tired Okay, I found myself very tired. Nobody really told me how to get out of this. Like, no one could tell me, oh, Father, thank you. No one could tell me, like, how do you get out of this, like, for real? And so, I was just tired this day. And th on that day in particular, the Holy Spirit was like, go in there. You're going to sit down in here. You're going to read. Um, you're going to look at this video. So I watched the video that had been putting on for a very long time. You're going to watch this video and you're going to read. And after you read, I want you to go and have a conversation. So I sat down at this little shop and opened up my book, opened up the apps, did all the things that I was instructed to do. And yesterday I went to that exact same shop. Now I'm thinking to myself, I don't even want any boba. So when I went in there, it turns out that the place actually moved next door. So um she said that it was just recently that the place had been bought out like little caesars came in and bought this place out completely and they were forced to move to another space so i was like literally in not 
I will say an extension of the building, right? The thing was next door. So I got in my car after I left and I look back over and I'm like, man, I was really sitting out here um, texting this person, telling them like, I'm done. I wasn't planning to go to the home at all. I remember just texting and being like, I'm, this is it, this is it. And he was telling me, and I'm not using this to bash him. I want to show you how, I want to show you how simple God made this. I want to show you how simple what Jesus did on the cross made this for you and me. And I just got some new revelation. So allow me to just break this down for you. Okay. Allow me. So I'm sitting there and I'm telling him like, I'm done. I just got the wind in my spirit. I knew it was time to move on. I'm done. Now, mind you, I didn't know it was my husband, but I had already met the man that would be my husband recently. Like I had just moved to the job. The man already knew me by name. I had met him. It was already in the in the moving. OK, I didn't know it, but it was in the moving. I was doing a lot of fasting. I was doing a lot of praying. And finally, I had the strength. Finally, I had the courage to say this is done. I know it's not going nowhere. And I was sitting there and I was texting back and forth and I had this book was like a hundred questions to ask before you get married. And I'm not saying books like that are foolish, but without doing some of this work that I'm telling you about, that I've been telling you about reading books like that, you could do all those things and still not have um, a good marriage because you could still be so tied up with somebody that wasn't your husband. You could still, you, you could have about 10 husbands. Okay. What Jesus told the woman at the well, you got five husbands and neither one of them are yours. It's real. And neither one of them yours. So I had this book and I was telling me, he was like, you know, trying to lure me over there. Well, come over here, you know, you, let's read the book. Like, we're going to do it this time. And I remember after I did all the things that God told me to do, I went to the home. And it was late at night and I have to work. At that point in time, I had to work early in the morning. Like, I had to be to work for like four or five o'clock in the morning. And on this particular day, like, I already made in my mind, I'm not sleeping with nobody. So even to me, spending the night at the house, I'm not sleeping with nobody. So it don't, it didn't make any sense. I would not suggest that you do that. Um, but on this day in particular, I just had, it was the, I was at the right place at the right time doing exactly what God said to do. And that's how you want it to be. And I remember us having a very um, interesting conversation. And our conversation, I outlined it in that video. So excuse me why I reiterated it. I remember walking to the door and just words that I never even, I could never even imagine me telling this to this person. I could never imagine I would ever come to a place that I could let this go like for real. And as I walked to the door, he's sitting on the couch. As I walked to the door that's right in front of him, I look off into the night sky and as he's trying to convince me that I should stay and we should do marriage counseling is what he wanted to do. I said, you know, I think that if I stay here with you, it'd be good. We'd be good. We'd be a good match. It'd be good. And now I realized it wouldn't have been good. I would have been doing a lot more than was necessary for me to do. And I still wouldn't have been of no assistance because it wasn't the relationship that God wanted me to be in. And he told me that along the way. And I'm, I'm grateful so many days that I didn't push past what God told me no to um, because my husband is better than I could have even imagined than I could have even imagined and blows my mind um, more and more every single day. God blows my mind by the ways that he used him and just the things that even he's doing in his life in ways that I could have never imagined. And I remember him trying to convince me that I should stay and we should, you know, do marriage counseling and just, you know, just trying to convince me that this was good. Like, look, how, look how much time we had invested and just this was good. And I told him that we would be good. But I got up and I started walking towards the door and I said, my life is not my own. And when I said my life is not my own, like I almost started crying because I probably did start crying. You know me. Um, because I realized that these weren't even my words. This was the Holy Spirit. Finally, this was the Holy Spirit speaking through me because I finally came to a place of repentance. And I finally said, no, this I'm going to walk away from. I know I don't understand it. I know why you're, I know why I don't understand why you're not allowing me to have this that I think that I want. But God, I trust you. And I'm going to trust you. I'm going to look real foolish because this person look real good on paper. I'm going to look real foolish and I'm going to walk away from all this stuff that I've worked on for all this time. 
I'm going to do it the way that you said to do it. I'm not going to be sleeping with anyone. Anyone, God, I turn this over to you completely. I know that the way that I'm living right now is wrong. I know that I'm wrong. I know that I was wrong when I got into it. I don't know how I got myself here, God, but I just want you to help me. This is the posture of my heart when I said my life is not my own. My life is not my own. And I had never said that any time before, but I finally felt it. That is isn't even if you make the wrong move here and you stay in this relationship, you know, your life is still not your own. And some people walk throughout their life pretending they've tricked themselves into believing that this life is yours. And it's not. It's not. And I said, my life is not my own. And our conversation basically ended because there was nothing else to say to that. He knew that I was done. And I told you guys in that experience, um, that night I went to bed and it happened in the morning. I actually was late to work this day. Um, a spiritual transaction happened and I'll leave that for the unseen video because I don't want to get into all that here because I don't want to make that as if the spiritual experience is the highlight. What I now know about what happened there is why God let me see it. I know this now. He knew that I would get out of it. And he knew I wouldn't be a leper that got healed and didn't go back. And God showed me. See, Tanzania, what you're teaching them right now is what you didn't know. Is that when you break those covenants, when you come out of agreement with the things that you've been agreeing with. Oh, Holy Spirit. When you repent, when you come into agreement with me, this thing happens instantly. This isn't a long process. This isn't a long process. This happened. I said it this night. And by the time I woke up in the morning, the Lord showed me in the spirit. Literally, you have to go and watch that video. I'm here in the bed. I'm lifted out of my body. I'm moved over. Like I said, I don't want to go into the full here. And But I'm going to tell you this. While I was on the other side, I heard chains. And the Holy Spirit told me when I woke up that those chains were actually bound demons. That thing that you were fighting against is now chained. Because you agree with me. See, a lot of you are bound because you're in agreement with some things. And God says, when you agree with me, when you repent and you agree with me and you break those covenants and you break those chains off of your life and you ch and you chain that, th you bind that thing back up and send it off where it belongs. Man, you're this happens instantly. This is instant. This is not, oh, I'm going to repent today and maybe 10 years down the road, I'll be set free. God said, no, it's an instant. And I'm telling you, when I was fixing the thumbnail for the other video that I just made for you, God says, tell them what I did for you back there because it's going to happen instantly. And some of you need to get that. I didn't get that. I didn't have anyone to tell me this is how it goes. This is it's proof. I saw it with my own eyes. And if you trust the spirit of God that flows through me, hear what I'm saying and hear what I'm saying. Good and clear. It happens instantly. But you've got to make up your mind. That part God can't do for you. I watched my life fall apart time and time again. And though the Lord loved me and though I was his and though I was called, he couldn't choose me because I wouldn't make up my mind to do it the right way. And some of you are fully stuck in bondage because you won't make up your mind. But I'm telling you, it happened in an instant. It happened in an instant. I made up my mind that night. And by the time I woke up in the morning, I was set free. I was set free. And let me tell you this. Let me tell you how good God is. Because the person that I had to call to tell that I was going to be late to work was my husband. I let him know to let the executive chef at the time know that I'd be late. Because he was the one who was in charge, stepped down from the executive chef. That's how intentional God is. That's how intentional God is. And I, you know, during this uh, spiritual, during this 
this event that happened. I, I can't even tell you. Look, I don't know if I was in the body or out. I can't tell you, okay? Um, during this, I remember hearing, but I love her, but I love her, but I love her. Girl, those demons loved me. I was keeping them well fed. I was keeping them satisfied. They loved me. Of course, the other person doesn't want to let you go. People are throwing around ter terminology like narcissism and all that kind of stuff. Girl, none of that stuff is going to help you with the spiritual implications of your actions. But just know once you get it, it's going to happen in an instant. This happened instantly. A day is instant. Literally, conversation, sleep, done. And I did not continue sinning, praying that grace will abound. Because what did Jesus say when he healed the man at the pool of Bethesda? I've healed you, now go on and sin no more, lest something worse happen. Man, I don't know what would have been worse than that. But I'm telling you, once I finally, every single time, I can only tell you, I'm only releasing this. I'm only releasing this video. I'm only releasing the one I just made. I'm only releasing the flat fasting plan with those points because I know this works. And if I would have had this information when I went through that right there, who, who knows? Who knows how far along I'd be? But I wouldn't be able to tell you this. So I'm grateful. It was good for me that I was afflicted. I'm grateful. But I want you to know, baby, this is in God. God is God is God. Like this happens. It's like he's he. Whew. Nothing is nothing is outside of his control. I'll tell you this because this this doesn't have anything to do with that. But I want to show you like he cares about everything and nothing is outside of his control. So I went into the grocery store uh, one day. And when I came up to the register, the system went down. Would nobody know what I didn't even know was that someone was going to ask me for money that I didn't have the next day. I think it actually happened later on that day. Later on that day, the next day, I would have wanted to give them the money, but I did not have the money to give them. If that system would not have went down in that store and I didn't get those free groceries, I wouldn't have had the money to give them. You don't think God had a hand in orchestrating that. And I've seen him do it time and time and time and time and time and time again. Just a supernatural move of God. Because God isn't governed by the things that you can think of in your mind. He's God. He's good. He's God. He's good. And this can happen. I feel the spirit of God. This can happen in an instant. I want you to lay to grab this. To grab it and know that it can happen in an instant. You can be free from that relationship that's keeping you from your husband. That relationship that's keeping you from having the children that you say that you want. Whatever it is that's keeping you from what it is that God says is yours, that he wants for you. And if they're your desires... He wants them for you. Whatever is keeping you, just know he can fix it in an instant. In an instant. In an instant. I love you. And as always, if you have a question, ask a question. And I'll see you in the next video.